In this episode, we're going to discuss the recent banning from the content creator program of Elizabeth Eden, the recent Oathbreaker bannings, the upcoming bannings for formats that's going to come out on Monday, Wizards deciding that they're suspending all in-store play activities, the announcement for the next opened, which will be in August, and we'll focus on the historic format, misprinted product within the Jumpstart product, and finally, the increased cost of Jumpstart on the market as well as Double Masters. Please stay tuned. Hello, this is Chad, and welcome to Oathbreaking News, your Oathbreaker news source. I make Magic the Gathering and Oathbreaker content, and if that's what you're into, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. In this episode, I'd like to start off by discussing the content creator banning of Lisbeth Eden. The reason I bring this up is it kind of set Twitter on fire last week when she was kicked from the content creator program for sexualizing the game Magic the Gathering. This led to a backlash from many players as even in the most current Core 2020 set, Magic features almost naked women in its art. I would like to say more about this here, but a lot of the response coming out of the Magic the Gathering community on Reddit and Twitter has already been heard, and I think it's probably better to hear from Elizabeth Eden herself. So I'm going to put a link to a video she posted on YouTube a few days ago in response to the allegation and what has happened since. Please check it out. Next up, I'd like to briefly discuss the Welcome Boosters product. I don't know a lot about it this time, but it is a new product replacing the uh, Welcome decks that they used to have at open houses. If you stop by an LGS and you ask for Welcome Booster, it's going to contain contents to help welcome a new player to Magic the Gathering. I will continue to research this further, but I do not currently have full context of what is going on with that. I would like to discuss the bannings in Oathbreaker that came out yesterday the 10th. The only major change is that all of the cards that were banned as part of the Invoke Prejudice banning, those seven cards in Magic that were highly racially sensitive that I had reported on in a previous news episode are also following suit and being banned in Oathbreaker. Many other cards are still being tested for the banned and restricted list and those cards are pending. Much of the testing has slowed way down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Moving on, I'd like to talk about Jumpstart. I have a couple different things I'd like to mention here. First, pretty widespread in the Jumpstart product, there has been quite a few misprints where like one card has been misprinted or laid on another. I will put up a couple of images here to kind of show what I mean. These misprints have actually become highly valued and there's many people joking online that these dual land ones they would allow people to play as if they were a classic dual land, which I think is hilarious, and I'd probably check with my playgroup on that, personally. Next off, the Jumpstart product, the boxes have jumped up to over $240 a box. In response to this, Mark Rosewater went online, I think, to try to quell the worries about how expensive the box was by saying that Jumpstart will not be a limited printing, limited run set, and instead will be treated as a unlimited printing, they'll print as much of it for the life of the product, so as long as people want it. So my suggestion to many Magic the Gathering uh, fans out there that are interested in the Jumpstart product, that they take a deep breath, maybe don't go running off and spending the $242, $242 on the market right now to pick it up and just wait a little while. The price will most likely come back down once uh, the shipping problems are cleared up and the printing problems are cleared up. But that's just a personal opinion. Please um, do. I will keep you guys updated on the news as I learn more. The Next thing I want to mention about Jumpstart is one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Spice 8 Rack, did an amazing article on Channel Fireball concerning how it's a great way to enter people into Magic the, for Magic the Gathering. It's a good entry level format, so I'd like you guys to check that out. I'll also try to put a link in description for that. Finally, I would like to talk about how Wizards of the Coast Play Network has suspended all in-store play events in the U.S. and LATAM. 
This is important to speak about because the main reason they're doing this is to protect the Magic the Gathering community and the ecosystem. They do plan to update the community if slash when in-store play events become something the WPN wants to support or wants to do again in the future. However, they're saying this current in-store play suspension is going to last through Zendikar Rising pre-release at the earliest. With them letting us know any changes to the suspension period on a monthly basis starting in September. I will post more information. I'll post a link to the article in the description, but this is of course going to affect the larger Magic the Gathering community. We do have another series of bans coming up Monday the 13th that's going to affect multiple Magic the Gathering formats, most notably Historic. The next arena opened is going to be held in Historic on August 1st. This will be post bannings, but it's only going to allow many players at max about two weeks to prepare in deck tech before the event. So it's going to be quite a rush for people who follow Arena, and I imagine it's going to affect many in the community, maybe not in a positive way. I will post links to an article I found on MTGA Zone that has more details and is very well resourced so that if you want more information you can check it out there. And finally I would like to go back to something I mentioned earlier on in the video. On Monday, July 13th, there will be an update to the banned and restricted list that will impact Historic, Pioneer, Modern, and Popper. There are a lot, a lot of people online offering their opinions on what you should look out to see ban hammered away out of the formats. I myself um, am a news channel, so I am not going to speculate on those items at this time, but I will link some articles in the description if you are interested in seeing some of the other speculations that are taking place out there. That's all I have for the news this week. If you guys could please, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And again, thank you guys so much. Uh, I can't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't. And I hope I don't see you in the headlines.